Hello and welcome to my online masterclass on Franz Schubert's Apeljuna Sonata. First of all, I want to mention I can really recommend using the tuned down E string for this piece. There will be many places in every movement where you need this, where it will create a fantastic atmosphere. So let's start with the first two lines. So in here, we already got a lot happening. And actually we have one big phrase, which consists of many small phrases. For me, it's very important in Schubert to differentiate between what is a singing part and what is an articulation, a string instrument kind of part. At the beginning, it's definitely singing. And we need to always show direction. So first two phrases, Go. So it's clear that the goal versus the A. Even though you think the one is here, you could be. But that's, that's not very vocal, right? So we go. Singing where is it? You would absolutely grieve for a moment. So, after the second build up, E flat. Here it's important if you go, some people go. Then you need to be really careful that you don't have a too bright of a color immediately. I think generally in this beginning, you need, you need to search for a, a rich, dark sound that's not too, too soft, but also not too much, because you still have ways to go. It's still continuing until the E flat, that's the, the highest point. So make sure with a rich, dark interval, if not bam in your face kind of sound. That's why I think staying on the second string is better. It's so difficult. It's right, such a big shift at the beginning. Well, there's an easy trick to it. I had this problem too. I always missed it. Oops, never hit it. The trick in finding the A is that you think about the G and the F sharp. If you while you play the A, think about those two notes, it's gonna be in tune. So that's one thing. Then about where you're going, I would go. And here in Schubert, we don't want this, this pressed sound because with you sometimes might have this, but in Schubert, it's way more introverted. So we have a sound that's still very round, not too focused, and we do most of the expression in the forte with the vibrato, like you would if you were a singer. And we start not too loud. So here, 
weird. Schubert writes a diminuendo and then a pianissimo on this note. So we need to be sure that we go back. Some people go. Both of four changes there. I think that's too too much action. It's supposed to go back. It's simple music. So. Yeah, pianissimo. Brief for a little moment and That's the key. We don't do it. It's boring. We start knocking the harder and then we do the During the note. Because before you think the whole phrase is going to. No, everybody thinks, but then you have this second line, which is even more than this. It's even more. And again, you show it not through getting this kind of sound, but the vocal sound. is over. So now I'll be here. And then there's nothing happening anymore. So don't go back too much too fast. Go back gradually until you end the phrase. So, so. You should play this like it's an end. No. Now it's over and then so here, many people think, what's the articulation? Is it? Or is it? Whether which notes are short, which notes are long. I think if the notes go up when two are connected, then it doesn't, then it's not, then there's no. Oh, but if it goes down, it goes down the two connected notes, then the second one is short. So, short. And also we have direction. So, it goes... So, build up and release action. It's always like that. Softer, but then be careful. There's no, no, no sound like that, even though it's pianissimo and it's up here. Make sure you have some nice contact because otherwise, there's like no, no substance. Exactly by Schubert. So I would I would show it through many ways, dynamic, timing, and also through doing more board changes. So I start with four on one bow, 